These were our canary in the coal mine. So folks may remember about 20 years ago, mid 2000s, we just started losing honeybees in mass, right? Up until that point, beekeepers were losing maybe 10, 15% of their honeybee colonies every year, mostly due to winter cold. And after that point, sometime in the mid 2000s, those numbers just skyrocketed. They jumped to 30, 40, 50% a year. Last year was actually the worst year on record for honeybee losses, right? These losses have persisted to this day. And I think beekeepers lost about 56% of their honeybee colonies last year on average. So huge, huge numbers. And look, there's a lot of problems affecting bees and other pollinators. There's climate change, there's habitat loss, there's parasites and pathogens, but none of those problems suddenly got worse in 2006. What did happen at that time, if you look at a chart of neonic use, it skyrockets, right, at around that point. And this is not when neonics were first introduced. It's actually when neonics start to be used as coatings on crop seeds, right? And that's when their use really takes off, right? You know, millions of acres nationwide. That sends a really clear signal. And since then, the science has been unequivocal right? Linking neonics to these losses of pollinators. But what we've learned in the last 20 years is bees are just the canary in the coal mine, but our native bees and butterflies and insects, they don't have this industry replacing them every year. And what we see is our ecosystems um, hollowing out uh, right in front of our eyes. And again, the link is there to these really hyper insect toxic pesticides.